If you want to charge your EV with solar panels, you typically have to store the energy into an external battery system, then transfer that to your EV once enough energy is stored. A lot of cost goes into the inverters, batteries, BMS, or battery management system, etc. What I propose is to have a solar port in the front area of the Aptera. Aptera mentioned there would probably be multiple charging ports available in the front of the Aptera. This would extend the solar panels already on the vehicle. You might as well take advantage of the inverters cabling already within the Aptera. I don't believe this would add much cost to develop. My idea is to use a common MC4 style connection. You connect that to the Aptera, have some basic logic to make sure the voltage polarity is correct before accepting the energy from the solar panels. Then when you want to unplug, press the button, cut the power, and release the M4 connectors. This way you can cheaply extend your solar panel charging when the Aptera is parked. At home you could have solar panels on your roof, your shed, etc. I would recommend an 8 gauge wire to limit energy losses. Solar panels have dropped a lot in price over the years and have gotten more powerful. Just two 370 watt panels will double the charging in the Aptera from 40 to 46 miles a day to 80 to 92 miles a day. I found some panels locally for $185 a piece for a 370 watt panel. If you want camping, just throw some flexible solar panels in the back of the Aptera near a base camp. You have more solar charging with very little weight added. I believe this would be a huge selling point for many. Something no other vehicle is offered at the moment. What do you think?